So today it's the 4th of November, we are in uh, Copenhagen and we have the pleasure to have uh, Hans Belting that is going to uh, tell us about the Venice Biennale statement uh, because he's mentioned, uh, he's quoted, you are quoted Mr. Belting uh, for the Venice, uh, Venice Biennale, did you know about that? No, I have no idea. I had no idea before. No. I was surprised and I asked myself why did he quote his anthropology of images, for what reasons? Since I never met him and since I don't know what he got out of it, we have to speculate at this moment. Yes, but uh, you, you, uh, what do you think he wrote? He, he, is it right? Is it going to develop the right way? Is it? Well, I think this is not the right question. Uh, because he gets out of it what he wants. And I don't know why he uses it and for what reasons, because what he explained then is still a little bit in the air. So we will see in what way this relates. But the anthropology of images is interesting enough because images are not uh, equal to works. And therefore images are more freely floating. So I wonder how he gets images instead of pictures that works into Venice. So, but you think he wants to grab something or uh, uh, use that to a kind of uh, like a fixator or to... Well, I'm prepared to accept every positive yes? use of this anthropology. But the, the book you wrote is uh, 10 years ago. Yes, but the English edition only appeared last year. Yes. And he, you probably found this English edition in New York. So, but uh, you are happy that the Venice Biennale, basically, uh, the whole concept is uh, is coming from your book? Because this is the center. It. I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, it's a quote uh, in order to, maybe it's a cover up of uh, what he wants to do and to give it a name which he borrows. From a book. But can you um, can you connect that with the title with the uh, encyclo the idea of en encyclopedia? Because actually the title the title is uh, uh, is the encyclopedic palace. So actually uh, he connect uh, your um, uh, your definition with the title of encyclopedic uh, pa palace. Yes, maybe he will be able to do that. I never did it. Okay, so For me, it's encyclopedic palace is something very different from the anthropology of images. Well, but maybe he will connect it successfully. Yes. And then we will see. Encyclopedic palace is, of course, maybe an ironic statement to our society of knowledge, which has to be questioned. Uh, can we uh, connect the idea of encyclopedia with the idea of megalomany? Maybe, yes. This, uh, I am looking forward to see yes? what will come out of this. But uh, if you close your eyes, what will you visualize? Uh, with an uh, en encyclopedic palace? Yes. Well, a palace From a world to a, a picture. Well, uh, a kind of uh, jungle. A jungle of knowledge and of, uh, as he says, on dreams, hallucinations, and visions. Um, so, for me, the interesting thing where I share his interest in this book of mine is what he calls internal images. That internal images have also been called in. I wonder whether he will do that, but uh, this will be interesting for me. But he will try to find a system. I guess he, as a curator, he has, he has to to, uh, to find a system. So, he, so he, he will kill the poetry of all this. So, I mean, by finding system, by making picture out of this. I have no idea. The, the problem is, I had to have ideas for writing a book, and he has to have ideas to make an exhibition. <laughs>